Hello, I'm Chris Carter, the product manager for Thor Motor Coach Class A Motorhomes. I'm in the Vegas 25.3 today, and with me is... Joel Grimm, National Sales Manager, Thor Motor Coach Gas Division. Thanks for having me today, Chris. Thank you for being here. We have a star with us today, folks. <laughs> hey, we just took a drive. This thing drove great. We're sitting up here now. We're set up, camped, comfortable. Tell us why this thing drove so great. Well, you know, one thing that separates this uh, Thor Motor Coach Vegas is it's the industry's first RUV, recreational utility vehicle. Uh, it is the first Class A gas motorhome that has independent front suspension. Um, most Class A's are on the Ford F53 chassis. What makes this Vegas very unique to the industry is that it is actually built on the Ford Econoline E450 chassis. Um, so the coach sits lower to the ground, uh, it's got more stability, and it's powered by the Ford V10 Triton uh, engine giving you th uh, 305 horsepower and 420 pounds of foot torque. Yeah, it, felt, it felt very planted as we drove around, it was very very maneuverable. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple other things that I noticed too, everything is within easy reach as it drives. It is. Mm -hmm. Um, I've got, what's this, let's tell, let's tell everybody a little bit about the, the dash here and some of the features that we have. Yeah, standard on the Vegas Motorhome is going to be the uh, color backup camera, okay, and it's also equipped with side vision cameras for safety. Uh, so when you're going down the road and you want to switch lanes, you just simply just turn your blinker on. Uh, if you turn your right blinker on, the right camera, which is located up in the heated remote powered mirror, is going to shoot a camera down the right side of your coach, so when you look in the backup camera, uh, you can see any incoming cars that may be coming on. So that really takes the guessing out of switching lanes. Uh, very nice safety feature. Yep, uh, it also has a camera on the back rear cap of the motorhome that looks downward so you can see any oncoming traffic from the back end. And also if you're towing uh, a vehicle, mm -hmm. you know, you can see uh, your, your tow vehicle behind you here. So it's a really nice safety feature that this backup camera uh, offers. Um, obviously, this is a radio as well. Right. Okay. And it also will give you the ability to have a mirror image of your smartphone. So if you have Google Maps or some type of GPS on your on your cell phone, your smartphone, uh, you simply plug it into the HDMI hookup, and you have GPS wherever you go. And I, and I love that feature because your phone is continually updating maps, so you're always sure. got the most current map. You're not worried about a, a built-in navigation system that you always have to figure out how to download the current maps. Absolutely, and also the passenger can be locating if you need to find the nearest gas station or a local restaurant or a, the closest campground. Right. The passenger can be searching through the internet and, and through the, the Google Maps and pulling all of that up on the screen so that the driver never has to take their eyes off of the road. That's great. Now one thing I noticed too, driving down the road is the visibility here. Sure. We have this tall expansive piece of glass, I can see the road. This is our picture postcard for our traveling across the country. It is. A uh, nice one-piece windshield, Okay, nice panoramic view. And one thing you'll find about the Vegas Motorhome is the size of the front cap and also how we, how far down the front cap goes um, behind the dashboard. So when you're pulling up to oncoming traffic and there's a vehicle in front of you, uh, you can see closer to the vehicle than a typical Class A motorhome will give you. And I notice the wipers are unique. You don't see this on a lot of, of RVs, uh, really, is that they swipe in a different pattern. They swipe like you would see on a UPS truck for, for going down the road, right? Sure, yep, and the reason that uh, the Vegas is developed like that is because of the size of the windshield. Mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna maximize the amount of uh, water uh, runoff that we can give this front windshield. Again, another nice safety feature that the Vegas offers. That's great. Um, we didn't have a bunch of sunlight early this morning when we drove around, but if I was driving into the sun, we have a nice uh, visor here that will come down for us. We do, and the greatest part about it is its power. Uh, you simply are just going to hit the button here, okay? You can use it as a, a shade, so instead of the two individual shades, which you typically mm -hmm. will see in a, in a motorhome, uh, this gives you consistent shade throughout, so that sun never seems to get through uh, the gap where the individual sun visors give sure, you. Sure. And then at nighttime when you're looking for, or daytime, when you're looking for complete privacy, this shade will come all the way down and actually touch the dashboard. That's fantastic. Excellent. Okay, so uh, we've taken the drive. We're now set up in camp mode like I talked about earlier. We have our coffee table out here. We could be having snacks. Um, if I wanted to check my email, search the internet, I've got a place over here, I'll put the shade up, What that we can actually 
load our laptop, plug it in, and, and let's tell everybody about that. Yeah, we do. We got a flip over computer desk here, okay? So you can put your tablet, your laptop right here. We've got plugs down below to plug in. Uh, also, it's cut out a little deep, so if you need to store any paperwork or anything with you, you can do that. Um, and then you're also going to notice you've got two individual uh, uh, non-slide grip uh, rubber uh, mallets up here and also one right here. So if you want to put your cell phone or any objects up here, they're not going to slide around during Stay transit. Stay in place. Very sure. good. Um, and, you know, and if you're not using this for a, a workstation, it's a great place if you're just going to have a sandwich going down the road or a place to have a snack here. Excellent. Very good. All right, one of the things we do very well at Thor Motor Coach that it'll be a benefit to our customers is the way we construct a coach. We talked about the driving and the handling and, 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 the pla and, and really we could spend all day talking about the platform. Sure. Um, we have a partner, right, that helps us with manufacturing the underneath portion of our coach. We do. A uh, company, Moride uh, International, is the number one fabricator. Uh, we utilize them because that's what they do. They specialize in upfitting and fabricating chassis. So uh, we lean on them to make sure that they can develop the substructure that allows us to build an even platform and build a perfectly square motorhome. Why don't we go ahead and go to a video and we'll, we'll show everybody in detail what we're talking about. At Thor Motor Coach, we build many of the world's most recognized brands of motorhomes. To make sure your new motorhome is the perfect fit for you and your family, our engineers work with More Ride International, the leader in chassis modification, to design and construct the foundation for your motorhome. More Ride provides the steel assembly that makes up the basement storage and support structure of the motorhome. Raw chassis come to us from leading chassis builders like Ford, Chevrolet, Freightliner, and Mercedes-Benz. Computer-aided design models allow Thor Motor Coach engineers to provide more ride all the information needed to make the perfect parts for each chassis. A specialized steel cutting and forming process is used for each individual part. The use of these metal forming machines help create consistency throughout the build. Many chassis need to be modified based on the floor plan of the motorhome. These chassis will be stretched to provide the optimum combination of storage and drivability. Steel C-channels are welded in place to provide strength and rigidity. The lengthening of the chassis requires a modified drive line. New drive shafts connect to the transmission and rear differential. Specialized machines are used to create the correct drive angles and balance the new drive shafts before being installed on the unit. Steel cross members make up the largest section of the structure, spanning horizontally from side to side over the main frame rails. These cross members support the floor of the coach while evenly spreading the weight of the coach for better stability while driving. With the newly formed structure in place, the chassis is brought in for painting to protect the raw steel from the elements. This special paint is formulated to help inhibit rust and corrosion. Special attention is spent to ensure only the steel structure is painted leaving all of the automotive components with the standard coating provided by the chassis manufacturer. Even though you can't see what is beneath the beauty of the motorhome, you can be certain Thor Motor Coach and More Ride International have created a strong foundation meant to stand the test of time. All right, so we've spent a lot of time talking about the driving and the handling and, and what we can do in the, in the cab area. This floor plan is really nice. Everything flows right into the galley, and what I'm noticing is Boy, we sure have a lot of storage that we can talk about. We have an, an excellent galley, lots of space. Let, let's share a little bit with, with the folks what they're going to get in 25.3. Sure, Chris, it, it does. I mean, if you look at the size of the galley and all the works uh, station you have here, for a 25-foot motorhome, uh, it gives you all that you'll need. Uh, it's also equipped with a single bowl, nice deep sink, so when you're doing dishes and washing cups and stuff like that, it's nice and deep so that water's not going to be splashing out. Uh, standard on the Vegas Motorhome 2 is going to be a chrome uh, high-rise faucet that's got a sprayer that actually comes out of it too. Um, standard build 2 is going to be three burner stovetop oven and a standard uh, microwave oven. I, I can't get over the countertop space. I just want to reiterate that because there, there is a ton here. And look, we even have a lift-up uh, countertop extension. We do. Uh, when you think you have a bunch of countertop space and you need a little bit more, this simply flips up, give you an added countertop space. That's fantastic and just plenty of storage up in the overhead. There is. Over top here you're going to get two nice wide opening doors here uh, and then a third door over here 
plenty of space to put your cups, your bowls, your paper plates, uh, and any cereal boxes or canned goods, things like that. So it gives you a nice pantry up top as well. Excellent. Okay, so um, we're not ready to, to go to bed for the night and make the coach up to go to sleep, but we have a, a massive dinette here. This, look at the size of that table. It is. It's larger than a standard booth dinette in, in most motorhomes. It's also um, going to be a legless table as well. Okay, so you're going to just push this over here and the table just pushes down for ease. And then so it this folds is the dream dinette mechanism, so it makes it very easy for, for someone to push it up and down and put it in. It does, it's lightweight, uh, probably takes about 30 seconds to push this down, scoot the cushions over, and make a nice sleeping area. Excellent. Okay, one of the things that I, we did in the 25-3 really was to spend a little bit more time organizing the, the dressing space mm -hmm. in toward the bedroom of the coach and provide for storage. Let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, the 25.3 is going to offer a bedroom slide out, which will give you a full walk around queen bed. So you can get in and out of bed easy from both sides. Uh, it also gives you a nice amount of space right here. So when you come out of the, out of the shower, a uh, nice dressing area. You've got a sliding door here that will also close off for privacy back in the bedroom area. Look, and, and where you're standing, look at all the wardrobe space that you have, a his and hers. you got a his and hers, or in my house it would be a hers and hers. <laughs> um, but they're nice big hanging space up here, and you also have adjustable shelves in here. So if you don't want to utilize it all just for hanging, uh, you can put all your clothes in there as well. You also have nice big deep drawers with uh, full extension metal drawer guides here for extra durability. Excellent, and we do that throughout and everywhere we have a drawer, perfect. All right, so I know this is an odd question with you standing in the shower, but, but really Joel, I mean this is similar in size to what we do in our diesel motor homes. It is, this shower is huge, uh, plenty of headroom space, uh, I'm about six foot tall, so I got plenty of headroom up here and also plenty of room to turn around. So it's a, it's a nice decorative uh, shower that gives you plenty of room uh, when, you know, when you give, give yourself a bath. And in, and in a, a motor home that is a 25 foot motor home, 25.3 motor home, that's a, great, that's a great feature. It is, Chris, a lot of times in a 25 foot motor home you'll actually have the shower, the toilet, and the sink all in one. Where this gives you a nice space with your own toilet here with plenty of room and also a nice stainless steel sink, uh, which comes standard in the Vegas. Thank you, that's awesome. All right, so now we're outside. We, we call this an RUV. Help, help explain what RUV means. We do, Chris. Uh, what we did with this Vegas product is we created our own segment in the, in the RV industry. Uh, RUV stands for Recreational Utility Vehicle, okay? Um, this unit here is only a little bit longer than an extended SUV. So it has a maneuverability like a long SUV. Uh, the coach is low profile. It's only 11 foot, three inches to the top of the AC. So if you've got that 12 foot garage that you're trying to park a, a motorhome in, this one will fit without a problem. That's great. Most uh, class A motorhomes as well are about 100 to 101 inches wide, where the Vegas here is only 94 inches wide. So it's very compact, it's low profile, great maneuverability easy to drive. So I was driving it earlier, I didn't think about that, but it felt great on the road, like I could really center it where I needed to. You can, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. and let's talk a little bit about construction. We build the Vegas just like we build our diesels. We do. Uh, everything is gonna be fully vacuum bond laminated, okay? The floor structure, the side walls, and also the roof structure. Uh, we have state-of-the-art lamination facilities at Thor Motor Coach that are going to go through a maximum bonding process uh, through the floor, sidewall, and the roof structure. That's great. I think we have a, a video that we can go into further detail to show our customers. We do. All of our motorhomes are engineered using the best combination of aluminum, steel, and fiberglass. The walls and roof are constructed from aluminum which provides a strong yet lightweight skeleton to support the overall house of the motorhome. Our floors are built from steel. The heavier steel construction helps lower the overall center of gravity of the motorhome while providing an excellent platform to help insulate the interior of the RV from road noise. The insulation within the walls, roof, and floor is low-density polystyrene foam. 
The insulation is form-fitted to all structural areas to provide protection from the exterior elements. The sidewalls are finished in fiberglass. Large flat sheets or rolls of fiberglass are laid upon a lamination table to be prepped and bonded to the aluminum structure. A large glue applicator runs beads of adhesive every inch down the length of the structure to ensure 100% coverage. Now the lamination process takes place. The entire walls, roof, and floor are inserted into an individual lamination bed where air is removed and pressure is applied causing the adhesive in the walls to flash, also known as vacuum bonding. This flashing permanently bonds all the layers together, providing an optimal structure to build a motorhome. With the lamination process complete, a final routing of all cutouts in the structure is performed. All openings in the walls and roof are framed in aluminum, while the floor is all framed in steel. This extra step ensures the openings are always sized correctly, so items like windows, vents, and entry doors will fit each and every time. So I'm sure we learned everything you needed to know about lamination, how, how we manufacture our sidewalls. Let's talk a little bit more. This is, we call this HD Max. We do. Uh, we are the first ones in the industry to come out with this concept. So typically you'd see a white motorhome going down the road. Right. Uh, but we did a Thor Motor Coach as we came out with what we call HD Match Max, which is colored fiberglass. Gives the appearance of full body paint without the added expense of full body paint. That's, that's great. I stand back and take a look at this coach. I have plenty of storage options. This one is passed through. Yes, uh, on the this Vegas, the 25.3 floor plan, we do have some pass through storage up front. And we also have a nice big uh, box here on the side. One thing at Thor Motor Coach, what we do on all of our floor plans is we really try to focus on maximizing storage under the patio awning, okay? Um, also equipped standard on all Vegas motorhomes in our compartments is gonna be Rotocast compartments. There's gonna be no fabric, no cloth in them, and each will be equipped with a Zerk drain so you can spray it out, clean it easy, um, and then go camping. Yeah, I spill something in there, I can wipe it out, wash it down, it's not a problem. You can. Mm -hmm. That's great. As we move down the coach, I noticed these frameless are frameless windows. Frameless windows. Frameless windows gives a nice sleek look to the motorhome. Uh, when you open them up, a lot of the windows will be jealousy style, so yep. if you're getting a mist in the morning or it's raining out, you can still open up the windows and give you some airflow throughout the, throughout the coach. That's great. We talked a little bit about the storage, and I'm looking down here in the storage area. There are some connections down here. There are. Uh, what you're going to have down here um, is you're going to have an HDMI connection. You're going to have also 110 plugs. So that makes it nice. If I want to plug in a DVD player, I can do that out here and play it on my exterior entertainment center. Yep, one of the few options that the Vegas offers is the 32 inch flat screen uh, exterior television which is built right into the sidewall. When you're not using the TV, you can just close this door here, lock it up, and you don't even know it's there. So I'm camped, I'm Sunday afternoon, I wanna watch the race. I, if I can tune that in right there, I've got an opportunity to enjoy. It's sitting right under more. your patio. That's it. excellent. Okay, one thing I noticed too, um, walking on the outside here is, I have speakers. Yeah, this is a, a great feature that we offer on the Vegas Motorhome. Uh, I'm gonna pull out my smartphone for a reason. With the latest technology and what we do at Thor Motor Coach, we actually have an app, a Jensen app, which is the radio uh, that we use for the exterior speakers. You can download the Jensen app, run it right to your phone, and then play these outside speakers from your phone. You can use Pandora, you can use music off your, off your own phone, or any other type of music source that you listen to. It comes on remote control, basically. You flip through your radio, you turn the volume up and down. Uh, it's a nice feature when you're camping. Excellent. Okay, I'm outside, I'm enjoying, I'm watching the game, or I'm listening to the radio. Look at this expansive, I mean, this, this awning covers the entire length of the coach. It does, Chris, uh, and it's an adjustable awning as well. So if the sun's coming up, you know, one side of your campsite in the morning, or if you're looking for some water runoff, if you're getting a little bit of rain, it's got six different adjustments where you can tilt the awning. Okay. okay? And another really cool feature that we've added here recently in the Vegas is going to be the LED lights that light up your campsite at nighttime. Right. Uh, LED lights, they're a lot cooler than a typical light, so it's not going to attract bugs. Um, and, and it's just a great feature that and the it Vegas offers. entire space. So it does. It'll, it'll light your campground. It'll up. light your campground. Okay, very good. All right, so 
We talked a lot about the outside of the coach, the patio awning, the benefits of the exterior entertainment center and the radio. You don't always talk about the back end of a coach, but there's a lot going on back here that people should know about. Let's start with the camera. I can barely see that thing. Yeah, the new camera that we're using is going to be almost flush mounted to the rear cap, so it's not the big dangly camera that you see typically on a lot right. of motorhomes. So it's flush up there, uh, and it gives a good, you know, good look to it. And again, it'll shine down on your backup, or if you're towing a vehicle, uh, it'll shine right down on that car. And so I noticed that the tail lights are mounted high and we have this nice solid bumper on the back. The other thing that I've noticed is that we talk, already talked about the HD Max. We have our fuel fill on the back of the vehicle. We do, uh, and the reason we locate this fuel fill uh, on the back of the coach versus one of the sides is the convenience feature. When you pull up into a gas station, if you've got a long line on the left side or a long line of, of, of cars on the right side, it doesn't matter what side of the island you pull up to. Uh, you just pull up to it, reach the hose around, and you can fill the 55 gallon fuel tank. Right. So this is, a, this is a smaller vehicle. A lot of people may take this out and never tow anything, but there are a lot of people who will. So what are we, what are we providing folks to be able to tow? We have an 8,000 pound rated hitch. That's fantastic. That is. So, and then the other thing is, I know we have a seven pin connection so that the multiple, you can just plug right in to most any vehicle and you're going to be able to get everything connected right. Yep, that's correct. Excellent. All right, let's talk about the business side of the motorhome. Mm -hmm. This is where I would spend time. My wife would never come back here. Yeah. I would take care of all of this. And one thing that we have in the back is, is really nice is it really is a quick connect marine style, marine grade, 30 amp plug connection by, by Furion. This is, a, is an LED light, so I know when there's power to the coach. I don't have to guess when I'm at the campground after I plugged in whether or not I have power. And what else do we have back here? Uh, also next to it, if you do have a campsite that's got cable hookups, you've got your cable hookup. Um, you also have your, uh, if you're going to run continuous fresh water from your campsite, you're just going to take your hose, hook it right up into here and give continuous water. Or if you want to fill your fresh water tank, you're going to undo this here, put the hose in and fill your fresh water so tank. So I've got my gravity fill here, everything's in all one convenient location. Okay, we were talking earlier off camera. You were coming back, you were using a coach this summer. You came back from the beach, right? And what, what did you do? We wanted to rinse the kids off. Yeah. So instead of tracking all the sand and stuff inside of the motorhome, took the kids to the outside, took this off here. There is hot and cold water, so you don't have to freeze them if it's a chilly day or right. you know if the water's cold coming from the campsite. Spray the kids off, don't have to drag them. Also, if you've got pets, you want to wash your dog, um, you sure. can take the dog out here and right. wash the dog as well. So a uh, really nice standard feature. Uh, that the Vegas offers, and okay, so, uh, Chris so also, is also known as a kid washer. It is a kid washer. <laughs> yeah, okay. uh, but you know the most convenient thing about this side of the motorhome, as you just mentioned, is how everything is in one place. Okay, uh, everything's here. You also have your solid waste dump and your gray tank right down here. That's all self-contained. You hook your sewer hose up, pull the plugs, and dump your sewage. So out there, I pull my gloves off. I can wash my hands. I've got Correct. that all right here. Excellent. Yep. Big storage in the back for all of my conveniences. Yeah, big storage in the back. Great place to put the uh, put the power cord. Go ahead. Put it goes the right in cord. there. Again, as we mentioned earlier, it's all going to be rotocast compartment in there, uh, but also a very tall, large compartment. So you know, if you want to put charcoal or any camp chairs, things like that, you've got nice big storage box here on the non-camp side. Really good. Let's continue down the rest of the coach. Okay. Uh, the Vegas here. The next compartment is going to be the hot water heater on the 25.3 floor plan and also your furnace. Uh, this wasn't a mistake how these two features were put on the non-camp side. Okay, these could get hot, the furnace could get hot, as opposed to being under the patio awning where you may bump into it and could possibly burn yourself. A uh, safety feature, we move it to the non-camp side where there's not a lot of traffic. Uh, the hot water heater is gonna be a six gallon Atwood quick recovery. Uh, which will actually give you just under 18 gallons of hot water per hour, Chris. That's awesome. You'll never run out. Well, well, depends. My wife would run out. I wouldn't run out. <laughs> okay, um, very good. Let's talk about the rest. Yeah, down here you're going to have your 4.0 Onan gas generator, which is standard on all Vegas models. Okay, which is going to power everything in the motorhome, which will make it a self-contained. RV. That's excellent. We, we didn't talk about that back here. And I could hook up if I wanted to, mm -hmm. but when I have those times when I'm out and about, I'm remote camping, that's a great feature. Yep. Okay. All right. One of the things you can see standing and looking at the front of the coach now 
is we do have that narrow front that we talked about as uh, a little while ago mm -hmm. about the, the width of the coach and driving down the road and comfort and driving. And that's really evident and you can see that here. We also have some nice LED strips. That's for nice visibility for, for oncoming traffic going down the road in the middle of the day. It is, it's very automotive too. Back to the RUV uh, recreation utility vehicle. It's designed just like an extended uh, uh, SUV. Right, and we talked a lot about the wipers before mm -hmm. and we have fog lights. I mean, there's everything here that you could, could want in, in your motorhome setup. Yeah, there are safety features, okay? Between the heater remote mirrors, your backup camera, your side vision camera, fog lights, extra wide long windshield here for added visibility. Um, there's a lot of safety features that the Vegas offers. One of the things we do at Thor Motor Coach is we design motor homes that fit. Mm -hmm. And we have a variety of styles from the Vegas through every other sort of, of length and style that you could ever want. This is one of my favorites. Joel, thank you so much Absolutely. for being with yes, us today, sharing uh, all the benefits and features of the Vegas Motorhome. Thanks for joining us.